Okay, what the heck just happened here? So, in here is my Senestis Imonis. I saw her limping. You see, she's she's kind of limping in there. I have no idea what's happening. But look at this. I noticed she molted. But then, look at this. One, two, three. And then these two, the legs are stuck. They're stuck. She amputated her own legs and they're actually maggots. Look at that. There are maggots inside of the leg. I have no idea what just happened. I have no idea. I just noticed this today. And I really, really hope that she's going to be fine. Because she is kind of struggling inside. I'm not sure if... Oh, no. I'm not sure what happened. But... It is the first time that I've actually that I'm actually seeing something like this. I really, really hope that she'll be fine. I, I, I mean, because if if you think about it, for maggots to come, right? I think, well, this should have happened maybe a couple of days already, and if she's still doing fine after a couple of days, I mean, tarantulas when they bleed, they will die. Pretty quickly so you see there's a freaking net oh my gosh i really hope the net doesn't affect her oh no oh no i i don't know guys this is so uncalled for i i don't even know how this happened and it's both of the legs so i don't know look at that it's see let me just open this the leg is stuck inside, I believe. I have no idea. Is it stuck inside? That's the first time it happened to me. So, these two, right? These two legs are the two back legs. So, maybe that is why she is struggling to move. Because tarantulas, they need their back legs to support them. And usually, when it's a bad mold that I've noticed, it's always either these two legs. But today, it's... The two back legs. So I think that is why she's struggling to molt. I really, really hope that she will be, she will be fine. I'm not, I can't really see her, her back legs properly. Let me put you guys in here. Can we see? Yeah, I can't really detect what is actually happening. Because from here, you can actually see her back leg right there. So I'm not exactly sure what has happened or what is happening. So, yeah, look at that. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments below. Oh, she, see, she's still kind of struggling. I hope that she will go through this mode successfully and just, I don't know, what is up with this? That's so weird. This is the first time I'm seeing something like this. You guys let me know why or how that did this this happen. Look at that when I when I when I squeeze the maggots just come out. Ew. That must be painful. But then again, since she is freshly molted, I really cannot do anything. There's really nothing that I can do but to just wait and Hope for the best, I guess. So, I'll give you guys an update after this. Okay, I'm going to try to pull this two out and see what the condition actually is. Wow, it's really stuck. I think that is why she couldn't... Wow, it's stuck. It's like a really, really bad stuck mold. I can't even pull it out with force. I think that's why she couldn't... Oh my gosh, yeah. It was a stuck mold. Ow. Yep, it was a stuck mold. So, I mean, kind of brutal looking, but that is how tarantula meat looks like, I guess. But, yeah, that is... Oh my gosh, why is it only these two back legs? That's so weird. I'll try to pull this one out. Yep, it's not coming out. It's just so stuck. Oh my gosh, I don't know what she's going through now. 
but I really hope that she will be fine. Oh yeah, now that I see closer, she actually did amputate her legs, like her back leg, you see over there? Yeah, but thankfully, it is not bleeding. Fast forward to about 30 minutes later, this is a good sign. She actually managed to turn her body and she is not in a death curl. So I'm really, really happy about that and still keeping my fingers crossed that she'll be fine. Whoop, hey girl, you, you doing okay? Yeah, still a little bit worried about her. All right, so she walked out of her hide and now we can clearly see that both her back legs have been amputated and she is, I don't know, man. Yeah, the problem is she needs her back legs to support her and now they're gone so i'm not sure i really hope that she's going to be fine just to be safe since she is a little bit on the weaker side i will be giving her a shallower water dish that way she will not i mean there's a lesser risk of drowning but at the same time she still has access to some clean drinking water so yeah, that's a shallow water dish for her. So if she wishes to crawl over there to drink, she has the option to. All right, she's actually moving her fangs and all and cleaning herself. Now it's actually around 3 a.m. So I think that is a good sign. Fingers crossed. Still keeping my fingers crossed. Yes! Huh? My Zanettis ate. Nice. Heck yeah. Nice, nice. That's a good sign.